On today's vlog, me and Will were talking about things that make Rose Holman special. And Will, what did we come up with? We came up with the idea that Rose Holman allows you to build your own lofts and customize your room however you'd like. So since Will is a campus tour guide, I'm gonna have him show you some lofts. So let's go do that. So Will, where are we heading? Uh, we are heading now over to Lakeside to check out um, one of our friend's lofts. All right, welcome to Lakeside 4. We have here an apartments room and two lovely people. We got Janine and Zoe here. Did you guys always have lofts like this or did you decide to do that this year? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is this is the first year I have a loft. Yes, nice. I've had mine for three years. So my uncle actually custom built it all for me, which is really nice. And like every year I've pretty much given him like I want shells or et cetera, et cetera. So it's been nice to have it for the past three years. It helps save space and allow me to have more room for desk and relaxing so nice how long did it take you guys to build your lofts and how did you get your materials up there like elevator stairs what'd you do mine i usually have my uncle come and do it for me so i guess i don't really have to personally do much but it's like four main components you have like the base and then there's like three walls essentially mm -hmm. and so putting it together is not too bad it's just you put everything in place and then you just slap it down and bolt it in um so for me i bought this from somebody who lived in lakeside last year so we just stored it here over the summer which was really nice and convenient Right. And so I just had a couple friends help me build this. So we're at an engineering school, right? Yeah. You guys are clearly engineers. Um, <laughs> how supportive is Rose Holman in allowing you guys to customize your rooms? Oh, I think it's it's really good. Like, literally the only rule is just don't damage the room, but like, much. Yeah. Like, I don't know if you saw it in the living room, but Zoe's parents gave her some stoplights. Yep. So we've got some stoplights <laughs> in the room. Nice. Um, but yeah, they, they pretty much let you do whatever you want. You can have fun with it. How do you guys maintain the plants? Oh, that's all about <laughs> I'm a big plant person. Um, yeah. I guess I just, you know, you just take care of them as they need. I like yeah. to, I like to hang them on my loft so that they, so I can have more. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, I don't have enough window space, obviously, for all of my plants. Um, but it's nice to have them. Then I just kind of feel surrounded and try and bring some of outdoor in. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for giving us a tour yeah, of your room. We're gonna head off now to our next location. See you guys there. All right, so now we're gonna go take a look at the next room, which is also in Lakeside. Yep, it also happens to be my room, but we're going to be interviewing my roommate, Kevin Grady. So, looking forward to this. Kevin, we're here to interview you. Come on in. Welcome everyone to the crib. This is the amazing Kevin Grady, fantastic steeplechase runner, as well as mechanical engineering sophomore. Hey guys, nice to meet you all. And from what I've been told, I'm here to talk to you about my current loft situation. So Kevin, I think the first question we're wondering is, how did you come up with this idea for the room setup? Will and I lived in Mies last year, and in the triplets, all of your beds are lofted, and it's a really space efficient way to, to you know, use the space that Rose provides you. And since Lakeside has such high ceilings, I figured I'd go with a slightly taller loft this year. So I've noticed you've built both your loft and your own desk out of wood. Could you kind of explain like how you came up with those designs? Uh, yeah, so the loft is actually from uh, Diana, another cross-country runner on the women's team. So I built this desk using a bunch of uh, Kyle Colburn's leftover wood from his, lo uh, his deck, actually, that he built. And uh, I used the same desk design as him, so neither of these are my own designs, but they actually work really well together. However, you do have your own design. You built an entire, or at least you've designed an entirely separate deck for our sweet mate's room, who happens to be Sean. <laughs> so we learn a lot of skills in our curriculum, especially for mechanical engineers. How, I guess, useful were those skills in coming up with these designs? The main thing I definitely used from our curriculum was, was Graphcom. I used SolidWorks to you know, design the, right. the deck that you'll see later on. So to do that, I, I definitely I had to put in all the pieces of wood. We actually did a cost-benefit analysis on whether we want plywood or 2 by 8 by 11 foot boards on top compared to the number of joists. So would you say that having some kind of cool light setup like this with the lights around um, the underside of like your loft or deck is a good idea. Uh, yeah, if you're building a deck, especially in Lakeside, I can't really speak for apartments. Uh, Lakeside, your main light for your central area is actually up on the ceiling. So if you were to build a deck, you kind of, everything under the deck loses that light. It, it just allows me to kind of control my own lighting. So for example, if Will's trying to go to bed, I usually will turn it to red mode. One other thing we almost forgot to mention. Uh, you don't have to specifically build a loft if you don't want to. You can also get some of these bed risers, such as these ones, and they're also great to be able to like 
put in little storage containers under your own bed. So now we're gonna go take a look at the other loft that Kevin designed uh, in Sean and Ben's room. Let's head on over. All right, so now we are in Shauna and Ben's room here to look at the fantastic loft. So obviously a deck will give you two spaces to work with. Down below us, we have the desks as well as the 3D printer space. And up here is where Sean and Ben sleep. It gives them a lot of room to work with in these spaces, especially with these nice tall ceilings. We're gonna talk a little bit more with Kevin about how he designed this space. So when, when our group was here, we, we had a couple requirements we kind of wanted to hit with, with the, the deck. First off, it had to be strong. Uh, We'd rather have it over-engineered than under-engineered. So we threw up a SolidWorks model actually over here of the room spaces based on the room plans provided on Bannerweb. You can actually go to your housing assignment and look at your room plans. The requirements that I know was mentioned was that people wanted to be able to stand completely underneath the joists that hold this up. Now we actually have two different types of side bracings because we were trying to figure out which one would work best. <laughs> so we, we cracked out SolidWorks, took some measurements and designed up a deck that would fit Sean and Ben's requirements. Well, I think that just about concludes our tour of the different kinds of lofts and decks you can build in your rooms, how you can organize things. I think so. Yep. So thank you guys so much for joining us in today's vlog of lofts. Yep. We hope that you enjoy customizing your room at Rose Holman however you'd like. Have fun.